Another night of shenanigans. I have to tell you guys this story. So last night I went out. My friend, who is also gay, was like, let's go out, let's paint the town red. I was like, okay, I'll get my paintbrush. So we went out and he's met some, he's made some new friends in Miami and he said he wanted me to meet them. So I meet them at this one bar in Miami. And I should also preface this by saying that my friend is the youngest friend I have. He's like, mm, I think he's 23. At the time of this video, I'm 31. Usually when I hang out with a group of people, I tend to be on the younger side, if not the youngest in the group. I've always been like that since childhood. I just prefer being around older energy, I guess. And I think a lot of it is about maturity, but this friend is very fun. But then there's situations like this where his new friends are also around that age. They've just graduated college. And for me, college was like, you know, like a decade ago. So there's definitely a disconnect uh, with certain things. And one of his friends, literally within five minutes of meeting him, he was like, oh, so tell me what you think about this. Uh, I, I started talking to this guy and he's really nice and he's cute, but I feel like I can do better And I think this is the problem with apps like Grindr. I just feel like I, you know There's so many options out there. Why would I settle and he goes on and on and I was like I Don't have the the bandwidth for this like it was just such a superficial conversation I don't think that way like I'm either into somebody or I'm not I don't think about what other options I have or I don't know I, I, I just don't think that way but also to like vocalize that to a total stranger, I just thought it was so hollow. And immediately I was like, okay, maybe I'm not gonna stay out that late with this crew. So that was already kind of odd to me. And then we headed to Twist, the local gay bar that I know some of you guys are familiar with. Um, and I haven't been to Twist in a while. And I think I've discussed this before that I just feel like I'm getting to that age. And this, the story I'm about to tell, this night of shenanigans is definitely an indication of, of that, that, I, I feel like I'm just reaching that age where I don't really enjoy these environments. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it is fun, sometimes you meet interesting people. Uh, and sometimes you wanna be out around gay people and, and potentially meet somebody interesting without relying on an app, right? But more and more I find that these nights just like annoy me between the people I encounter, the behavior I see. So that was strike one. Strike two, we were at Twist and <laughs> Within like five minutes of being there, we see a guy get escorted out by like six or seven security guards. It was not clear what happened, what he did, but I'm like, oh my God, what did we get ourselves into? A little bit later, my friend and I need to go to the bathroom to pee. And Twist is one of those bathrooms, like many bathrooms in general, and particularly like many gay bar or just bar bathrooms in general, there's no divider between the urinals. I don't know about you guys, I am not a fan of urinals like that. I feel very strange just having my genitalia hang out at, at urinals. I feel like this is not discussed enough, that, that this is unusual. And every time I tell a female that, the urinal thing, they're always shocked. They're like, there's no privacy there. I'm like, no, it's like pretty standard. There's a lot of bathrooms around the world where there's no uh, division between urinals and you're just, you look over, you can see somebody's, like to me it's so weird. So anyway, the bathroom at this gay bar is like that. And I know because my friend and I have talked about this before that he also like will have trouble peeing at a urinal sometimes if there's no, like it just feels too awkward to him. I'm peeing at the urinal, he's peeing at the urinal and this guy comes up to him and just starts talking to him while, while my friend's trying to pee. And because we've had that conversation, I know that he's uncomfortable and that he can't pee as a result. So I finished peeing and he, this guy's still like talking to him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to butt in at some point, but he's an adult. Let me give him the space to, to deal with this on his own, right? And then I wash my hands. So at this point, it's been like at least a minute, right? And this guy's still like bothering my friend at the urinal. And I approach the guy and I say, hey, you know, my friend's just trying to pee. I think if you want to talk to him, maybe once you guys leave the bathroom, you can talk to him. Which by the way, in retrospect, I feel like that was a very firm yet respectful way to approach this. And the guy drunkenly was like, I know him. And I'm like, I do too. And I know him well enough to know that he is pee shy and he can't, and he can't like complete the task right now. And the guy's like, well, I work here. I'm like, all right, this is not, this is not gonna go over well. And as this is happening, you know, it's like commotion in the bathroom. And so the security guard comes with a flashlight and it's like, hey, 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 let's speed it up here. 
So I walk out and I go to the security guard. Hey, can you get this guy out of here? Like he's not letting people pee. And the security guard goes, he works here. And I'm like, that makes it worse. So at this point it's strike three. I'm like, of course the guy who works at the bar is harassing patrons of the bar. My friend leaves the bathroom and is like, what the hell was wrong with that guy? I, all I wanted to do was pee. So then at the corner of my eye, I spot the one guy, the one guy the entire night that I was very attracted to. And I was attracted to him because he, I thought he was attractive physically, but he also was, I could tell a bit more polished than the twist crowd, just in the way that he moved in the way he was dressed, not that he was dressed, you know, like in a tuxedo or anything, but he just was more polished. And, and, you know, a lot of the guys who go to a bar like Twist, they just look very, they're just kind of trashy. My friend was like, you should approach him. And I was like, you know what? I should. To be honest, I haven't approached somebody at a bar in a long time, maybe even years. So I go right up to him and I start conversation and I say, hey, how's it going? Do you live in Miami? And he was with a group of friends, by the way. So like pat on the back to me that I was two drinks in, so pretty much sober. And uh, I approach this group and I'm like, how are you guys doing? How's your night? Do you guys live in Miami? Blah, blah, blah. Trying to get intel, right? Like what's this guy's deal? One of his friends gets very like handsy and very close to me, to my private bubble. Uh, this is relevant for later, so just keep that in mind. But I'm interested in, you know, the guy that I walked up to approach, right? So I'm just being friendly to the to the other guy, but I'm here to talk to them. <laughs> I'm here for business. And he's responsive and he's nice, the guy that I was into, but he doesn't seem like that interested. It's not really that like reciprocal. So finally I ask if he's single and he goes, I am, but I'm actually straight. I'm here just supporting my, you know, my friends who are gay. So now I'm like strike four. Of course, the one guy I'm into, and this has happened to me before, the one guy that I'm into at this whole bar who stands out because he just presents differently than the rest of the crowd here, of course, he's fucking heterosexual. So I respectfully am like, thank you for telling me. Uh, and then I feel terrible because not only did I get rejected by a straight guy at a gay bar who I did not realize was straight, but now I'm thinking his friend who seemed into me, I feel bad that I might have triggered something in him that of course like the one guy who approaches their group isn't to the straight guy, right? So I'm like aware of that nuance, I'm like, great. By the way, that guy who was like very close to my personal space, he looked very familiar, but I didn't think much of it because you know, I was focused on the guy who ended up being straight. So I go back to my friends and later in the night, the guy who, was, who got very close to me comes over to now chat with us and to flirt with my friend, which immediately I was like, I wonder if he's doing this to get back at me. Like it's a pettiness thing, but maybe he's just completely oblivious and like already forgot about me from an hour ago. But I look at him again now that he's, now that he's, you know, a, interacting with my friend and I'm not in the middle of a conversation. I'm like looking at him like, where do I know him from? And I realize, I'm like, I think I match with this guy <laughs> on Tinder, weeks ago and I'm like I think that guy's name was Luis so I ask him his name and he's like Luis and I was like I think we matched weeks ago on an app and he goes oh yeah probably and I go you never messaged me back <laughs> and he goes oh yeah that sounds like me I'm like great fuck boy energy strike five and he starts making out with my friend now I don't care, people like do whatever you want. But in my mind, I'm like, that is so tacky right after somebody, you realize it's like somebody that you could have had a connection with romantically to go ahead and make out with a friend. Now, of course, he could be thinking that of me from when I approached his friend, but I didn't realize who he was. And to be honest with you, the reason I didn't know, like realize it was him that first time was because it was one of those classic examples of people who look way better in the pictures. Like he was cute in person, but he was a little like disheveled. And in the pictures, he looked very like radiant and healthy. So at this point I'm running out of strikes. I'm just annoyed. And after that I went home, but getting home, I was like, you know what? This is why I now don't do this as much. Like obviously I'm telling this story with some, some comic relief, hopefully. Hopefully this is comedic. But just the sheer like nonsense of it all, I was like, I think I've reached that age. And my friend texted me the next day. He was like, did you have fun? And I said, eh. 
I think I'm just reaching that age where like I can't do this anymore. I want to be around more polished people and environments and I understand that not everybody a few drinks in behaves the same way and has the same sort of the nuances of thoughtfulness and, and, and manners, but like, come on. So that's my story. I don't know, hopefully you guys found it funny.